Good evening. We'd now like to welcome our new inductees to the stage, please. Welcome, and please stand for Abby Rayer to sing the national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight less gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fire or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the Good evening, and welcome to East Lawn Meadow High School's National Honor Society induction ceremony. We would like to extend our thanks to Ben Bedford for playing the piano and Abby Rio for singing the national anthem. Also, thank you to our custodial staff for setting up the auditorium and Mr. Page for his patience while organizing this event. We are so glad to have everyone here to celebrate this impressive accomplishment this year. I would like to extend my congratulations to the students who will be inducted this evening. At, at this time, I would like to acknowledge our honored guests, Mr. Gordon Smith, Superintendent of Schools. Ms. Pamela Blair, Assistant Superintendent for Business. Ms. Heather Brown, Direc Director of Curriculum, Instruction, and Assessment. Mr. Frank Page, Principal. Mr. Gary Wright, Assistant Principal. Ms. Ann Blaine, Assistant Principal. Sitting before you tonight and to your right is the best of the best of East Long Meadow High School. That's right, they're the best. 
Many of you already know this because you see the hard work they put in to earn the grades needed to qualify for the National Honor Society. But they are more than just a GPA. This year, we thought it is important to highlight exactly what makes this year members in inductees stand out amongst the rest of their peers. To do this, I want to share what the process is to become a member of East Long Meadow Chapter of the National Honor Society. Yes, not, yes, one needs to earn good grades. Specifically, a 4.20 GPA is required to even be considered. However, that is only the first step to becoming a member. They must all complete the application that highlights their achievements outside the classroom. A board reads these applications, makes recommendation, and meets to discuss which applicants best exemplify scholarship, service, leadership, and character. I don't choose the inductees, but I watch the board discuss, contemplate, and decide who fits the criteria best on the applications. They look at what applicants do beyond the classroom, how they serve the community as a whole, and how they present themselves to others. This year's inductees demonstrate a commitment to both their studies and their services to others. Let's congratulate the inductees because they made it through this process. Many of the students before you are athletes of multiple sports, band members, club members, and all around active members of the East Long Meadow High School community. While the 4.0 GPA and involvement in school activities is commendable, it is what these students do beyond the classroom to make them stand out. There are students who participate in the Pink Ribbon Club to raise money for breast cancer awareness, students that have participated in various clubs such as Key Club, Medical Science Club, Recycling Club, and many more that help within the community. A founder, president of the Chess Club, and volunteering with the, so the Special Olympics. These are only a few examples of the community service of this year's inductees. These activities are, I'm sure, only the beginning of what these inductees will contribute to society. They will continue to serve the high school community through tutoring, fundraising, supporting other, supporting other events at school. I hope you are all as proud of these students as we are. Again, congratulations. <laughs> On behalf of those who are current members, we welcome you to the National Honor Society. At this time, I would like to acknowledge this year's board members of the East Long Meadow chapter of the National Honor Society. Please stand when I say your name so we may acknowledge your continued achievement. Audrey O'Neill, President. <laughs> Emily Baker, Vice President. Maggie Stevens, Secretary. Lila Cushman, Treasurer. Emma Stevens, Member at Large. I would like, I would like to now introduce the President of the East Lawn Meadow High School Chapter of the National Honor Society, Audrey O'Neill. Thank you. Please stand when I call your name and hold applause until the end. Addison Rushford. <laughs> Amelia Chudetz. Andrew Oliveri. Anna French. Avery Stebbins. Connor Nee. Ella Jarzabski. Eric Wing. Aaron Peteros. Hannah Willits, Isabella Medina, John Rucci, Katie No, Lauren Card, Madeline Moriarty, Nicole Vo, Nolan Moore, Sandrine Alvador, Sarah DePondi, Sophia Panassi, Thomas Fitzgerald, Tyler Zalewski, 
Victoria Mazzaferro, Vincent Barello, and Vivian Poole. Welcome back and congratulations. Good evening, everyone. As the president of the Eastland Meadow Chapter of the National Honor Society, I would like to welcome you all to the 2023 induction ceremony. Before recognizing these students, I want to thank those who are so integral to the development of these inductees, which has led them to be the exemplary students they are today. These individuals include Superintendent Smith, Principal Mr. Page, Assistant Principal Mr. Wright, Assistant Principal Ms. Blaine, East Long Meadow Administrators and Staff, the School Committee, the Board of NHS Directors, and especially all of the family and friends in the audience. I'm extremely proud of all of the individuals who are being inducted for their first time, along with those who are continuing their membership from last year as they have successfully achieved the difficult task of constantly upholding the core values of scholarship, service, leadership, and character. These students are either volunteering in school-sponsored clubs, participating in sports, working after school, or giving back, while also maintaining a rigorous course load that challenges them to excel. These inductees and members are devoted to bettering themselves in order to benefit others and their community. I know that each member's potential is unlimited. So when Mr. Page first asked me to advise an overarching goal for this year during my speech, I knew exactly what I wanted to accomplish. My hope is to utilize and expand upon the vast array of talents and intense dedication of all these students to deepen the chapter's involvement within our community. Experience has taught me that one grows best when they challenge themselves to take on new and larger roles, which is why I aspire to give each member new opportunities to represent the club. This can involve presentations delivered by students rather than teachers during club-sponsored programs, like the Sandy Hook Promise Week, or bringing the club together to execute a charity drive that would push the chapter to become involved in communities outside our high school. No matter what initiatives we choose, I know these inductees will dive in head first, ready to embody the characteristics that make up a member of the National Honor Society. I can't wait to see what this year holds, and I wish all inductees the best of luck in any objective they hope to achieve. The membership of the East Long Meadow National Honor Society has been earned by the effective demonstration of the four qualities held in high esteem by the society. Four of our members will review these qualities for the candidates. Scholarship. Scholarship means a commitment to learning. A student is willing to spend hours in reading and study knowing the lasting benefits of a cultivated mind. We should continue to learn even when formal education has ended, for education ends only with the end of life. Knowledge is one great element of life, which leads to the highest success, and it can be acquired in only one way, through diligence and effort. Learning furnishes the lamp by which we read the past and the light which illuminates the future. Candidates have the charge to continually expand their worlds through the opportunities inherent in scholarship. Service. Service can be described in various ways. In the routine of the day's work, many opportunities arise to help others. Willingness to work for the benefit of those in need without monetary compensation or recognition is the quality we seek in our membership. We are committed to the idea of volunteering our time and abilities to the creation of a better tomorrow. Leadership. Leadership. 
leadership, leadership should exert a wholesome influence on the school. In taking the initiative in class and school activities, the real leader strives to train and aid others to attain the same objective. The price of leadership is sacrifice, the willingness to yield one's personal interest for the interest of others. A leader has self-confidence and will go forward when others hesitate. No matter what power and resources may exist in a country, they are ineffectual without the guidance of a wise leader. Leadership is always needed, thus to lead is of substantive charge to each of our members. Character. Character is the force within each individual which distinguishes that person from others. It gives each of us our individuality. It is that without which no one can respect oneself nor hope to attain the respect of others. It is this force of character that guides one through life and, when developed, grows steadily. Character is achieved and not received. It is the product of constant action, daily striving to make the right choice. The problem of character is the problem of self-control. We must be in reality what we wish to appear to others. By demonstrating such qualities as respect, responsibility, trustworthiness, fairness, caring, and citizenship, we may hope to prove by example that we value character. I would now like to introduce East Long Meadow High School's principal, Mr. Page, to give a short speech. So good evening, and on the behalf of the ELHS administration, I would like to thank everyone for joining us for tonight's 2023 National Honor Society induction ceremony. We are here to recognize and celebrate the accomplishments of our top students. However, tonight, why they are here and why we are here is not simply because of what these students have accomplished in the classroom. Becoming a member of the NHS goes beyond academic recognition. Becoming a member is a charge to be a leader amongst your peers as a class officer or as a student council representative. Becoming a member is acting as a role model through service to your school and community through the Key Club or other volunteer programs. Becoming a member is having the character to be compassionate, honest, and ethical as you walk the halls of ELHS. Becoming a member of the National Honor Society means that you embody each of their four pillars, scholarship, leadership, service, and character on a daily basis. We are here tonight because these students time and again have demonstrated their commitment to this higher standard. However, the embodiment of these standards does not simply end with tonight's induction. What is so great about this group of individuals is the work that they continue to do together after tonight. I've seen our ELHS National Honor Society do great things here, whether it be tutoring their struggling peers, coordinating running charity drives, or sponsoring the schooling of less fortunate children in countries around the world. The individual work that they have been doing prior to tonight will become a collective effort to better the world around them. Audrey mentioned earlier about the community service that she wants to see these kids take on this evening. I am so excited to see what these 50 students, those 30 plus students over there, that collective 80 student group is going to accomplish here at ELHS. I'm proud to have the privilege to work with these young men and women every day and see the awesome things that they are accomplishing. I'm even prouder to say that these young adults are now deserved members of the ELHS National Honor Society. Welcome, guys. Will the candidates please rise? Candidates. If you agree with these four pillars of our organization, you are welcome to join us in the following pledge. I pledge myself to uphold, I pledge myself to uphold the high purposes of the National Honor Society, to which I have been selected. I will be true to the principles for it stands. I will be true to the principles for it stands. 
will be true to the principles for our students. I will be loyal to my school. I will be loyal to my school. And will maintain and encourage. And will maintain and encourage. High standards. High standards. Of scholarship. Of scholarship. Service. Service. Leadership. Leadership. And character. And character. You may be seated. When your name is called, please walk across the stage to receive the membership certificate. Will the following candidates come forward to be inducted into the East Long Meadow High School chapter of the National Honor Society? Andrew Lanzek. <laughs> Anna Kulinek. Anna Osborne. <laughs> Ava Guile. <laughs> Ava Menz. Brady Zemanski. <laughs> Brian Nguyen. <laughs> Caroline Lukasik. <laughs> Caroline Peteros. Colin Gway. <laughs> Daniel Incalubo. <laughs> Delilah Martin. <laughs> Eastwood Twum Barima. Emerson Pelletier. Emma Goslin. Ethan Sherman. Fumi Coates. Gabriella Illingsworth. Grace Howard. Grace Moltenbray. Gwyneth Burnett. Haley Fitzpatrick. <laughs> Isabella Charette. <laughs> Jacob Miller. <laughs> Jacob Robb. Jamie Belrose. <laughs> Jillian Stevens.
John Cooper. Kennedy Marino. Marley Weisha. Michael Mandrala. Yeah, Mark. Mark, Mark. Michaela DeFlorio. Morgan O'Brien. Natalie Merrick. Nathan Laflam. Porter Carroll. Sage Lou. Samantha Edwards. Samir Khan. Samuel Wychowski. Sarah Kula. Saram Khan. Savannah Meyer. <laughs> Sophia Shamura. <laughs> Susanna Cooper. <laughs> Tess Denal. <laughs> Timothy Toe. Vincent Liu. William Beagle. And William Devoy. So at this time, congratulations to all our new members. We want to We want to thank you all for attending this year's ceremony. Please feel free to stay and take some pictures. Please drive safe to any other event you may have. Thank you for joining us this year.